today I just want to show you a little tutorial on how to hand piece a four patch block. And here we have um, four four patch blocks sewn together to make a 16 patch. But it starts with two patches. Here um, on the wrong side, I have marked the seam allowance on all four sides. I like to use something like this a perfect piecer, which has a really nice quarter inch line to, to mark. It even has these little holes. If you don't want to mark the whole line, you can use a pencil and just create some dots on your patch and sew dot to dot dot to dot, but I like to mark all the sides on the wrong side at the beginning of the project so that I don't really have to worry about anything like that after I've prepped. So you start with the two pieces. I kind of like to sew on the lighter side if possible. I'm going to put them together like this. I'm going to grab a pin and I'm just going to pin the end of the stitching line and I want my pin to come up right in that corner that I'm going to aim for. Ah, my goodness, at the end of the stitching line. Okay. This is pretty short, uh, this pretty small patch, so I'm not gonna pin anything else. I'm gonna grab my thimble, which I like to wear in the middle finger of my right hand. I am right-handed, and I have a needle and thread. Oh, this one is not knotted, so I'm going to quickly do a little quilter's knot. Pull that through. Okay, then we're ready to go. So these are lined up. From the top, you don't come up from the bottom, you always start sew on the top. I'm going to go right through that um, corner and I'm just peek to make sure it comes up in the corner of how I've marked it on the back and it has and I'm just going to do a quick stitch. Okay, so that knot ends up on the top. Okay, and now I'm going to do a little back stitch and as soon as my needle goes through, this index finger is going to go to the back of the work and I'm just gonna do a little running stitch right on top of that that line which makes it really easy because it's really just sewing straight on the line okay and I'm going to after you get you know however many stitches you feel comfortable with pull the needle through and just do a little smooth and then back stitch a little bit for strength and again this finger goes to the back and this this is pretty steady this hand is doing all the work it is moving the fabric up and down that needle does just barely prick this finger I don't like to wear a thimble because I like to feel it because as soon as I can feel that needle touch I know it needs to come right back up so you just do this little rocking motion back and forth again I'll just come straight up smooth and keep going. I do have this um, thimble, thread's getting short there, sort of um, with some pressure against the thimble. The needle has got some pressure. I've got a little leverage and this is giving me a little tension. So if you knit, you know, you always need tension. So this is the same thing. This is holding this the, the fabric tight and this is just back and forth. And then when I get close to the end, I'm gonna come up right next to that pin that's in the corner. I'm gonna take it out, pull my thread through, and then I'm just gonna knot it. Just a small stitch, and then I'm gonna go through the loop. You can go through once or twice. I'm a belt and suspenders girl, so I like to go through twice, but you have to go through the same direction or you'll just unknot what you just did there. And then I'm just going to clip just going to clip the thread and open it up. You can totally just finger press when you are hand piecing. You don't need to run to the iron all the time. I also have this little contraption, if you completely optional, but it does make it a little bit flatter. And that is, that way. <laughs> that's our first piece. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is sew two of these two patches together to make a four patch. So you're gonna get them lined up with the little corners opposite, place it on top. And again, we are going to pin right in the corners. So the beginning of the stitching line and the end. They come right up, right in that corner. Okay, and just like machine piecing, um, you're going to want to nest these seams. So since I'm going to be stitching this direction, I kind of want this one to go back to the to left at first. So you just kind of, you know, do that thing where you nest them together where you can kind of feel. And I 
often <laughs> take a little peek to make sure that they look good and I just you know create a little tension here and then I'm going to pin right on that seam line and I'm going to come up right at the beginning of the seam allowance and that's all I really need to do here um, as a matter of fact since I'm gonna start sewing right here I, I, I always pin it as I'm getting them all set up and then I will often just kind of move that one a little bit down so again so you just kind of kind of crumple this up in your your hand a little bit and I'm gonna take my needle and thread I've got a knot in it and I'm gonna start at the top come through with a little stitch I'm gonna back stitch for strength at the beginning of the seam and I am just gonna do my little running stitch as I as I go through and as I've mentioned before um, things like needle length um, is very personal I tend to like needles that are a little bit longer um, a lot of people like needles that are a little bit shorter so they can really be levers to the side of this uh, thimble but um, yeah it's it's completely personal also how you hold your hand is personal okay so I'm coming up on the seam allowance and what I want to do is get this out of the way because you do not sew the seam allowances down in hand piecing so I'm going to just kind of use my fingers to get that away so there's a bunch of fabric all bulked up right there so I'm headed towards that corner okay I'm gonna come up and start over so I'm in a good position to start that corner pull those all away back stitch and then I'm going to come up okay so I'm down I'm gonna come up and it's a lot of bulk and there's a pin there so you can kind of feel your needle against that bulk and it kind of pops up you can hear it kind of snap and it just came up right there and at this point I'm gonna take that pin out and I'm gonna give it another little stitch for strength right at the the seam intersection and again you can kind of hear it just it kind of pops up okay so that's good and strong there so now I'm going to loosen them up and I'm going to go right through where you've marked that corner and I'm going to come right through the fabric right in the next corner and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to push them all the other way and I'm going to feel with my needle right where that bulk is and I'm going to come right up against it and sew another stitch Ooh, I just came uh, undone so let me rethread that okay I am a rethreaded and again I'm just going to back stitch a little bit and continue running right along the stitching line this however many stitches feels comfortable to you sometimes this thread gets a little caught you just have to untangle it and uh, just going to continue keeping some tension moving your left hand way more than you're moving your right your right's quite steady and this is if you're right-handed if you're left-handed just uh, it's opposite <laughs> for everything and here I'm coming up on the end of the stitching line and back stitch and then again come up right at the pin boom take the pin out and then we're just gonna do a quick little knot one two I love having these little snips I'm gonna open this up let's see how I did and then yeah we got a nice perfect little intersection there and uh, you just do that three times and sew these together and that is how you hand piece a four patch mm -hmm.